Hello, and thanks for joining me, Phil Spencer, for my insider's guide to Bristol. In this latest area guide, we're looking at Bristol. It's a very vibrant cultural powerhouse with a long maritime history. If you're thinking of moving here, or indeed anywhere in the country, you really need to arm yourself with one of my property reports. This is a deep dive into any specific individual home that you might be considering. It tells you about the local schools and amenities. It gives you comparable property prices. It lets you know what planning permissions might affect your potential home. Loads more information available. Please just click the link below to request your property report and make sure that you subscribe to this channel as we have new videos uploaded every single week. Bristol is a city like no other. It's featured in the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle of 1051 as a trading port. Bristol has a rich seafaring history. From its origins as a small port, Bristol's crucial role in shipbuilding and the sea trade saw the city grow to meet the needs of the businesses passing through its streets. The maritime history of Bristol has not always been a glorious one. Between the years of 1697 and the early 1800s, the city played a significant role in the transatlantic slave trade. In World War II, the city was severely bombed and as post-war regeneration took place, much of the architecture was designed with practicality at its core, with many buildings becoming synonymous with the brutalist architecture of the 50s and 60s. But Bristol has undergone further regeneration and developed a more modern cosmopolitan aesthetic. It has a distinctly independent feel, making it one of the top destinations for those moving out of cities like London in search of more space and a different kind of atmosphere. I must say, I absolutely love Bristol. It's the largest city in the southwest of England, approximately 120 miles from London, and it has direct train links to the capital. It borders Gloucestershire to the north and Somerset to the south. Bath is just 13 miles to the east and just over 40 miles away across the iconic Clifton Suspension Bridge is Cardiff. Being a university city, Bristol has a thriving nightlife from large nightclubs visited by some of the world's most successful DJs to intimate bars, a buzzing live music scene and big name comedy shows. Independent retailers and eateries abound, catering for everyone from hipsters to jazz fans. Head to King Street if you're in the mood for a microbrewery or Harborside if you fancy a picturesque view of the water while you relax with your cocktails. The annual event calendar has plenty for you to see and do. There's the four-day Bristol International Balloon Fiesta, which sees hot air balloon fanatics from around the world take to the skies with fireworks and music in the evenings. As the home of Banksy, Bristol is renowned for its street art and for Upfest, Europe's largest urban paint festival. Head here to see some of the world's best graffiti artists at work. And you'll find a wide range of festivals celebrating food, beer, cider, film, and music. There's even a chocolate festival. <laughs> so what does living in such a desirable city cost? The average price for a home in Bristol is just over 360,000 pounds. The most common properties here are terraced homes, which sell for an average of 340,000. Of course, the area you choose within Bristol makes a big difference. Clifton and Redland in the city centre are among the most expensive, but if you're looking for something more affordable, then you might investigate Easton, which has a rather up and coming feel to it at the moment. The city is one of the most expensive locations for tenants in the southwest, though it is still cheaper than London. A studio flat in Bristol might set you back £525 a month, while a three-bed property averagely costs in the region of a grand a month. The cost of living generally isn't particularly low, I'm afraid. You're looking at nearly three quid for your cappuccino at a local coffee shop or £4.50 for a pint of beer in a pub. If you're using the fast, reliable bus service, you can get a monthly pass for £70. There are downsides to every city, of course, um, and Bristol can feel busy and it can feel crowded in certain parts. There are around 68,000 students at its two universities and many seem to choose to stay. 
the majority of the city's population is aged between 20 and 34, and Bristol has more children under the age of 16 than those of pensionable age. There you go, interesting stat. Overall, the city is home to getting on for half a million. I hope this has whetted your appetite to find out more about this unique city. I think it's a really special place to live. Stay tuned for more area guides and do please give us a like and subscribe while you're here.